Hey, it's your pal Frumbark out in the backyard again. It's a frosty 34 degrees, a little chilly out here. Today I'm going to be trying Lithuanian ration menu number three, which is either beef and, and groats or pork and groats. I can't remember. We'll find out Get in a jiff though. The bag. Gosh, darn, it's cold out here. So, a quick go through of the contents. We got a stove and a little accessory pouch with a bunch of stuff in here. We got, oh yeah, we got a chocolate bar. Those are always good. I think that's a, let's say, vitamin C, so that's going to be a drink. Yeah, sorry if my nose if I'm sniffing too much. Some sugar. Chicken broth. It's like some jam or jelly of some kind. And uh, some tank treads. Those are tooth busters. Got some almonds, which are probably going to be uh, not salted or roasted. Got our main. And it comes with a FRH. Nice. Let's I have a refreshing towel, some matches, some field tabs, and the second worst spoon in all of MREs. Number one being, of course, the French spork. Now, this is probably going to make somebody mad that I'm not using the FRH, but I want to try out this little stove. It's a, it's an Esbit stove, and I have a, the fuel that uh, comes in the Crusader, or that's supposed to be used with the Crusader canteens. So I want to give that, I haven't used that yet, it's supposed to be a little cleaner, so I'm going to give that a try. This is a fancy feast can, and I'm going to put the fuel in here, because once this lights, it will liquefy, and I don't want it spilling all over my uh, culinary stump of science. So let me get myself set up here. However, I will use my Lithuanian matches. This might not be much to see, typically these uh, alcohol gel... Whoa. <laughs> oh my gosh, what's that stink? <laughs> All right, here we go. Take two on the matches. That's better. Ooh, that took right off. Go ahead and. All right, while we wait here. for that to get rolling, let's open up this package. See what flavor we have inside. Purple is a flavor. Ooh, this has been out in the garage for a few days and it's uh, in the 30s, so this is uh, pretty thick. Let's give it a taste. Boy, it tastes like uh, cranberries, kind of. It's good, it's a little tart. I like it. Well, this is probably a poor combination. If you can see, right here there's a couple caraway seeds, so these are have kind of a savory flavor cracker and it doesn't always go well with the jam, but I'm just using what well, we got. Now that I have uh, jam, all over my fingers is the time to try out this towelette. The car goes by. Thanks, car. Oh, man. My fingers are so cold. This, this wet towel is not comfortable even in the slightest. Oh, and it's flimsy to boot. Here we are. It's, it smells lemony. Very lemony. Check oh, my fingers are cold. chicken broth. I could really use a hot broth right now. That looks pretty nice. Lots of herbs in there kind of looks like. Wow, that is some salty stuff. I think I'm gonna have to add some more water to it. It tastes uh, good, but it is super salty. See how, uh, got a little bit of frost on the grass here. It is quite chilly. This will be a theme. Yeah, check out the flame on this baby. She's really rolling. That fancy feast can is a necessity because otherwise that would just have oozed all over the stump and then I'd have a, a bit of an issue. Would soften up them tank treads a little bit. It does help somewhat. But this broth is so salty, it's almost uh, not any, it's not enjoyable in the slightest. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna be able to finish this and I could really go for a hot cup of soup right now. So uh, Dave's giving me a second opinion here. There's enough salt in there to kill a horse. Mm -hmm. an it's an, an amazing piece of irony. Uh, as salty as that soup is, there's no salt on these uh, almonds. They're just plain, nothing to them. Yeah, not roasted not salted. So if they took half of the salt from that soup and put it on these almonds, we're in business. Let's have a look at this grape drink. It's not grape, it's cherry. It is rock hard. So we'll see how easy that is to dissolve. I might pour hot water over it. Oh. That's not looking so hot, is it? Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and pour some warm water in here so it 
dissolves a little quicker. Right, so I took some uh, hot water, got it nice and uh, dissolved, and then I poured some ice cold over the top. That's a good cherry drink. I put too much water in it, but it's good. Well, this is uh, this is not going to be any big mystery either. These are uh, generally delicious. I can get the package open. Oh, my fingers just don't want to it's two bars, one for me and one for Dave. All right, it's time to sample the main after we had our delicious dessert already. I don't see any uh, pull tabs on here, so I'm going to go old school and try well, not to there's some, uh, <laughs> One of my chickens is sounding off in the, the background there. Uh, this is what she looks like all warmed up. Let me put it into something to do a with. super fast taste test because my battery's just about to die here. Oh, man. Oh, that's good. Nice and savory. I got the pork. Here's some of the goodness right there. It's very savory. Uh, it almost kind of tastes like it has a hint of um, like the dressing you put in a turkey at Thanksgiving. A little bit like that. The only thing I think it really needs would be a little bit of pepper. It's plenty salty. They've He's, he ghosted on me. Well, that's going to do it for Lithuanian menu number three. Just a, a quick ration review right there. There's not much going on in those packets, but they are very uh, consistently delicious. So if you get a chance, go ahead and try one of those yourself. I would encourage you to do it. Thanks for watching.